Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I've sat down and filmed a video for you guys, so I thought that I would just film um, a video on the makeup that I've been wearing every day lately and just all the products that I've really been enjoying and just sort of talk you through everything and yeah, just get back into filming because I think I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> um, I'm just going to prime with the Too Faced Hangover RX primer and I really like this one because it kind of is basically just more of a moisturizer rather than like a silicone based primer. foundation today I'm going to use the NARS Sheer Glow in BG and I actually just repurchased this I haven't had it for quite a while um, but it's just such a nice such a nice foundation and I'm just using a Zoeva 104 buffer Okay, so now I'm pretty happy with my base. You can pretty much still see my skin, but it's just evened it out overall. And um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go back in and conceal my under eyes and conceal a few spots and blemishes. So lately, I've been really enjoying the Makeup Forever Full Cover, mainly because it is waterproof, so it's super long wearing. I just like to take. tiny bit under my eyes. I'm just using a Real Techniques setting brush to lightly buff that in. So you pretty much want to set the under eyes straight away so to prevent it from creasing. So I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Take a small amount under the eyes. That in. You can also run a little bit over the eyelids and this is going to help set that little bit of concealer that we use over the eyelids and just prevent the eyelids from creasing as well. I'm just going to go in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Light and like actually Light Plus and just dust that over the skin just to set everything in place. So now I'm just going to take some of the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. I'm going to highlight the skin with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop and I'm just using a MAC 133 brush. I just want to hit that on the tops of the cheeks. I'm just going to take it one step further and go in with the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighter. Just on the same brush, but I'm just going to hit the very centre. So now we are highlighted and bronzed. Now I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Love Flush Blush, Love Flush Blush in the shade Love Hangover and I'm going to use a Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. I'm just going to hit the apples. L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and Brunette. I just um, comb them up and outwards to just thicken up the shape. But it still keeps them super soft and natural. And I think they still look like they're groomed but just not. Pencil, and I just 
So for eyes recently, I my sister got me the Tartlet in Bloom palette and it's pretty much all I've been using for the past month or two. Um, the shades are just gorgeous. I actually really prefer this one to the original one, which is a lot more cool tone. I'm going to take the shade Flower Child. And just buff that all over the eyelid. This is just going to set that base and make the rest of the shadows blend, blend out really seamlessly. I'm going to take the shade Smarty Pants. I'm just going to blend that through the crease. And this is just going to give the socket definition and act as our transition shade. So now I'm just going to take a, a smaller blending brush. This one is a MAC 221. Rebel and Sweetheart. Take that just below that transition shade we applied earlier. So I'm going to take a smaller detailer brush and take the shade Leader on a MAC 228. The outer lash line. before on my channel this is a really great way to go for like a winged eyeliner look if you aren't very good with a liner pen or a gel liner. eyeshadow in the shape of Persia on that same small detailer brush and I'm just going to line that inner portion. For the lid I'm going to take the shade here called Funny Girl and I might actually spray my brush with some setting spray. outer portion of the lid. I'm going to take the shade Firecracker, which is this gold shimmery shade, which I have really been using a lot. And to line the eyes, I'm going to use this mint green NARS um, larger than life long wear eyeliner. And just apply that to my waterline. It pretty much just like looks nude, but like it's mint green, it's just like, no, I just think it's kind of a fun alternative to nude. I'm also going to apply some liquid liner, and the one I've been loving lately is the, which I got in a Sephora haul, is the Marc Jacobs, I think it's called Magic Marker, Magic Marker Pen, and it's waterproof. the Ico Skinny Brush Mascara, which is really nice and lengthening. There's mascara on. Um, I'm just going to take the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighter on a clean and I'm just going to highlight the inner tear duct. The colour I have been wearing pretty much every day since I got it is the Dose of Colours Stone Liquid Lipstick and the 
this shade is everything. It's so nice. It can, it can look quite dark, so I just like to do a really thin layer of it. Got a little friend for you guys to meet. This is Bobby. I got her just before Christmas. If you guys follow my personal Instagram, which is Fiona Claire Wright, you'll see lots of lots of posts with her. <laughs> She's just taken over my Instagram. <laughs> So that is pretty much the finished look there, um, I, it's just a look that I've been wearing every day and for work and yeah it's super long wearing and as you can see I've just been really obsessed with the glow. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.